it's a part of my life since I was a little kid. And just coming back here just renewed my love for it, or actually made me realize how deep my love for it went. It's just magical. As far as my first memories, I don't have vivid ones, but I do have recollections of, oh wow, that Archelon is really cool, and uh, and that Taurosaurus, that's a cool choice for a dinosaur to put out front, and really being impressed by the mural, because uh, I was also very into drawing dinosaurs at the time, so just being able to see such an awesome example of scale and chronology displayed was really cool. The first time I came to the Peabody was my first day of starting the after-school program Evolutions. I remember like trying to find the building first of all. My mom was like, it looks like a castle, it's brick. And I like ended up finding it and I was like, oh, it's really pretty. That was the first thing I thought. I was like, it's really nice. And then when I walked in, I remember finding my way like up the stairs through the staff doors. And I was just so nervous because it was my first day of an after-school program. I was a freshman in high school. Well, I came as a very young child, but later on I came uh, when I was about 14. That's about the same time as Rudy making his big picture up there in the wall. He had a lot of it done, but I mean in black and white. Mm -hmm. But basically, I can remember that and being amazed that somebody's standing up on the wall, painting a wall. We never saw that. I've done a lot of traveling. I've camped with my family in every one of the 50 states. So, so I look at these habitats and they bring back family memories for me. Um, I, I like the exhibit with the brown bear standing up and sniffing the air. And I love to ask the kids about which way they think the wind is blowing and why they think so. And looking for clues in the picture about what was going on. I love the Great Hall. I think that it's. I think that what makes the Great Hall really special is that most, if not all, of the fossils in there are completely real. The first time I came here was from junior high in uh, in Glastonbury, and we came through the door, and that was that was amazing. Full cup pendulum. You came in, and there was a couple of chips knocked over, and then. When you were leaving, there were a whole bunch of chips knocked over, and I learned later on that that was proof that the Earth was rotating on its axis. The first thing that I remember was going to the Discovery Room. It was jam-packed that weekend, which is pretty typical, I think. I'm coming here since I was little. Um, I think my dad and I came for the first time because I was like super into science and like everything about science, and I remember just walking into the Great Hall and looking up at everything there and just being like, oh my god, like this is my place, like dinosaurs, yes. <laughs>